Hello my loves, welcome back to another video on my channel. For today's review, we are gonna be testing out a brand new liquid lipstick released by Anastasia Beverly Hills this week. This higher end liquid lipstick was released in their spring collection alongside with some other products as well. I think there was an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter palette, and also a bronzing powder, I think it was. But pretty much I got a notification from Beauty Bay telling me that they were stuck in this item and I thought, you know what, hun? I'm gonna treat myself. I'm having a stressful week at work. I thought, what better thing to make me happy than to come home and there be a new makeup product for me to review for you guys on my doorstep. So I went ahead and ordered it for myself. There are a couple of places that you can order this online. Like I said, Beauty Bay are stocking it. Also, Cult Beauty have got it as well. You can also buy this from the Anastasia Beverly Hills official website. I don't know of any physical shops in the UK that sell Anastasia Beverly Hills, but if you guys know any, please let me know in the comments down below. So this liquid lipstick has a wand applicator. It's supposed to be really long wearing and dries down completely matte. They also brought out 46 different shades, huns. 46, can you believe that? That's so many for a brand new product. Also, this as it is a higher end product, retails for a whopping 20 pounds. Can you believe that? Let's hope that it's worth the money. That's probably one of the more pricier lip products that I've bought recently, but Anastasia Beverly Hills are a really well recognized brand. I've always had products from them and really liked them. So fingers crossed that this product is worth the money. Oh my God, you guys, like I've been speaking about this product so much and I haven't even shown you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like in its original packaging. Really nice, very Anastasia Beverly Hills, very bougie. The shade that I picked up was Hudson. I don't know if my camera is gonna focus on that. Mm. I don't know, I can't really see. I haven't got my glasses on. Guys, I lost my glasses. I have no idea where I put them, so I literally have been walking around blind all day. It's so annoying. It also has a little Anastasia Beverly Hills logo on the top of the box, which I love. So let's break into this packaging, guys. Oh, girl, let's have a look at this. See, this is what I love about Anastasia Beverly Hills. They do not let you down with the packaging. Like, guys, Look how nice that looks. It's so simplistic, but it literally just looks like super bougie. I'm into it. I'm really into it. So I'm just gonna show you the wand applicator before I get into using this product. So this is what it looks like. Nothing too spectacular. I really like when they have the ones that are kind of in the shape of the little heart. Oh my God, obsessed. I do love a good heart-shaped wand. I'm also gonna swatch this on the back of my hand for you guys so you can kind of see what it looks like before I give it a go. The formula for this just from doing it on the back of my hand, is really pigmented and super creamy. Hang on guys, this is what it looks like. Look how pigmented and glossy that looks at the moment. I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes and see what it looks like when it dries down, if you guys just wanna hang on. <laughs> Whilst we're waiting, apparently this formula I've read online is supposed to be a really like matte finish, but it doesn't dehydrate your lips, which is something that I really struggle with. I've kind of like gone away from matte lipsticks at the moment because it is so cold outside. My lips just don't cope with it. Like I have to put Vaseline on all the time. So even like the tiniest bit of matte lipstick just dries out my lips and makes my mouth look like a butthole. Like I'm not kidding. So you guys, I am back. It has been a hot minute since I last spoke to you, even though in your time it probably was like literally 0.2 seconds, but I've been waiting for this swatch to dry. I don't know if it's because I did it too thick or what, but it took a while to dry. Um, it has dried now completely matte. I'll just show you guys the comparison from before. Yeah, completely matte, but it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Like as you can see, I'm rubbing my hand and nothing is coming away. So without any further ado, let's get on to testing this product. So you guys, I have zoomed in ever so slightly just so you can kind of see a little bit better what's going on in my mouth region. Do not mind him. I ate a cream egg yesterday and literally my skin is now punishing me for it basically. So I went ahead and removed any type of moisture I had on my lips. I did before this video do a lip scrub and also put a little bit of Vaseline on my lips to prep them before I put on this liquid lipstick. There is nothing worse than when you apply a matte like liquid lipstick or just a normal lipstick and your lips are all chapped underneath disgusting but to be honest that's me most of the time so I thought I'd try and avoid that for this video so I'm just gonna go ahead now using my little mirror that I've got here with my sleep palette I'm gonna apply this to my lipos okay look how creamy this is guys Do 
So I'm just waiting for the product to dry now. I bet you guys were thinking just then, oh my god, this is the quietest that she's been all video. 100% hun, you are correct. I'm pretty sure that this lipstick has completely dried now. I have to say, when I was applying it, the application was super easy. When you apply lipstick, sometimes it can come out a little bit patchy. No signs of patchiness whatsoever. It was just a consistent consistency all the way through application. Oh, that was the worst sentence I think I've ever come out with. I think I did a thinner layer when I was applicating on my lips and I did on my hand because it started to dry not too quickly but not too slowly either, which I really like. The wand applicator was super easy to use. You can use both sides. Another thing that I did notice with this is that there is more than enough product on the wand to do top and bottom lip. You do not need to double dip in this product either, which I really like. My lips don't feel really heavy. Like if you wear liquid lipsticks or any type of lipstick on a regular basis, Basis. you'll understand what I mean by when your lips feel like feel heavy with product doesn't feel like that at all which is super we're just gonna do a quick zoom in of what it looks like up close I know this is your guys's favorite part I mean what do you guys think it doesn't look like it's cracking or anything like that but it has settled into the creases of my lips which I think is pretty normal for any liquid lipstick but yeah I'm feeling it let's do a little rub of my mouth Nope, nothing on my fingers whatsoever. Let's zoom out because this is kind of uncomfortable for both of us. So it's coming to the end of the video. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this product. What do I think of the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Matte Lipsticks? Well, I am really feeling it. There is nothing negative that I have to really say about this product whatsoever. It is kind of pricey, but I so think it is worth the money. If you are into your lipsticks, this is something that you won't even think twice about spending money on because it, I do think it is worth the money. I will tell you if I think something like that isn't worth it. I have bought many lipsticks in my life and this is one of the best ones that I will remember and I will have fun memories of, like when I go on nights out and I'm drinking my drink and I'm not worried about my lipstick like rubbing away because when you go on nights out, you end up looking like a hot mess at the end of it. Like, don't even try and pretend that you don't because you just, it is so true. Like, you never look the same from when you leave the house to when you return home at like 3 a.m. I'm not kidding. You guys will know the struggles if you go out quite a lot. Also, the packaging, I would definitely give like a solid nine out of 10. Anything that comes in a box, you know is gonna be hella bougie. Like, that, I think there's even instructions in here, you know? I will also leave a couple of links as to places where you can buy this product if you're interested in purchasing it and trying it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought, what your favourite liquid lipsticks are because I'd love to know. I want to kind of branch out my lip collection a little bit because I used to be super into my lipsticks but I've kind of gone off it a little bit. I've gone more into brows but I think everybody has at the moment. Make sure if you enjoyed this video to give it a big thumbs up down below. You guys know the drill. I will leave a link here to my channel if you guys want to subscribe. Make sure you do so because we are nearly at 700 subscribers. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. You guys are the coolest. I will also leave links to other videos over here if you guys want to carry on watching. Guys, before I forget, I've also made an Instagram and a Twitter account, so make sure you give those a follow. I will leave links in the description down below. Thank you so much for checking back with me this week and watching another review on my channel. I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a really good weekend. Bye!